At 6.04, a judge will hear arguments today regarding a gag order on a child neglect case in Tippecanoe County. The state of Indiana has requested a gag order be placed on Christine and Michael Barnett. This is the couple accused of abandoning their adopted daughter at an apartment in Lafayette. RTV6's Alyssa Donovan is live this morning. And Alyssa, you spoke with Michael Barnett's attorney. What are they expecting today in that courtroom? So, Raphael, attorney Terrence Kennard tells me that he plans to make it known to the judge today that he is in support of part of that gag order when it comes to not sharing medical and mental health records with the public. However, he's not in support of the Barnetts not being allowed to share their story with the public. Now, the Barnetts are accused of abandoning their adopted daughter at an apartment in Lafayette. The couple claims the girl is actually an adult who posed as a child from the Ukraine and that they were the victims of an adoption scam. The gag order requests medical and mental health records not be shared. It also aims to prevent the public from hearing some of the details of the case from the perspective of the Barnetts. That section of the gag order is what Michael Barnett's attorney plans to argue today. However, when it comes to my client's ability to exercise his First Amendment right, uh, we think the case law from the United States Supreme Court is very clear that he does have a right to speak out, uh, that the only information the public receives should not come directly from um, the opposing counsel or the state of Indiana with respect to their allegations of what the facts are. Now, for the gag order to go into effect, the likelihood of prejudice to a fair trial needs to be proven. Both sides will present their arguments on whether or not they believe this gag order should be put in place and upheld within the courts during the trial, which is set for January. Michael Barnett's attorney, Terrence Kennard, tells me that he's not sure if they will actually get a result in that hearing today. He says that might come later this week. Reporting live, Alyssa Donovan, RTV6.